Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here, and today we are taking a look at the minifigures I will be using in the upcoming Scarif mock. Now, if you didn't know, in the last video I made an announcement that I am recreating the battle on Scarif from Rogue One, and today's video is going to be going over all the minifigures I will be using in that mock. So to start off here, we have the Death Troopers. These guys are the Navy Seals of the Empire. They are absolute war machines. They are the elite of the elite. They are 10 steps higher than Stormtroopers. They are armed with full 11s. They are Director of Krennic's personal bodyguard staff. These guys are absolutely kick-ass. Their minifigure is just absolutely insane. It's so detailed. And obviously, we also have to have Director Krennic, the evil mastermind behind Death Star. One of the most iconic villains, I think, of all time to me um, in regards to Star Wars and probably my favorite villain too. Come next, we have the Scarif Stormtroopers. These guys are iconic in the fact that they are specifically for the planet Scarif. We haven't seen them anywhere else. These guys are pretty cool. Um, I like them because they are very different from the normal Stormtrooper. I like their color pattern. They're armed with E-11s. Um... Honestly, these guys are actually pretty cool, and I really like to have them in the mock. Coming up, we have the regular everyday stormtroopers. Felt like, you know, I'm building an empire army, you gotta have stormtroopers. These guys are the grunts of your army. They are 80% of your army. They're pretty pretty normal. We've seen them. These are the newer types, and the one in the middle is actually an older stormtrooper that I that my friend actually graciously gave to me. So shout out to him. Coming up next, I picked up four Imperial hover tank um, pilots because they're not going to be piloting a hover tank, but I feel like I wanted to add a lot more diversity to the army, just like the movie, especially when that scene when the bunker and all them running out. There's a lot of different types of variants of stormtroopers. I like these guys. They're very similar to the Scarif troopers. Um, I'm getting armed with E-11s and one is armed with a random blaster. Really cool. The molds are nice. The minifigure is nice. I felt like I need to have it. Coming up next, probably my favorite minifigures of the entire army are these jetpack troopers. Now, if you played Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront, made in 2015, you guys know what these guys are. This probably look familiar. These guys are regular stormtroopers. They're a little, little beat up over there, and then they have also jetpacks to simulate they are actually flying. I have a cool way of emulating that in the mock that you guys are gonna see. And last but not least for the Empire, we have a few random guys. We have an officer. We have a Rebels tank crew. Oh, sorry. Star Wars Rebels um, Imperial tank crew. And then uh, we have some landing guy. Now for the Rebel army, we have your everyday grunts. These guys are kind of similar to the Stormtroopers in the fact that there are a lot of them. I tried to make them as diverse as I could because the Rebels, um, they have a lot of different stuff. There was no set uniform. Um, these guys are just going to kind of be like front of the line guys. You know, nothing too special. Coming next, we have the dynamic duo from Rogue One. We have Baze, Malvis, and Shirt M. White. These guys are awesome. The kick-ass Asian blind guy and the guy with the freaking awesome minigun. It's going to be sick. These guys are definitely iconic in the movie. And coming up last for the Rebel Army, we have the U-Wing pilot. We have Vodi Rook. We have Jyn Erso and Cassian Andor to her right, the two main characters in the film. Then we just have a random jetpack um, Rebel Trooper. And then we also have the uh, iconic gunner from the U-Wing Starfighter. And last but not least, I will be opening these sets and using the minifigures within the mock. You can also expect there are going to be individual reviews for each and every single one of these sets. Um, I like them because they come with four minifigures. A little bit on the pricey side, but thankfully I got them on sale, so it makes it a lot easier to do. Now guys, before we end the video, I want to give you a little short glimpse of what this mock is currently looking like. This mock's made a lot of progress. The next video you guys are going to see is how I'm going to make the um, environment, the palm trees, and all the vegetation. I'm just going to be showing you a few different samples that I'll be using. And then the following video will either be another review of either a Star Wars or a new Lego Batman set. Or it will be a slideshow of all the pictures from the mock. And the following video will be an in-depth review and a look at the actual mock itself. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys are excited for the Scarif mock, hit that subscribe button and leave a like. And let me know what you guys think about my minifigure selection for this mock. I think this mock is going to actually turn up really, really nice. I can't wait to unveil it to you guys. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, definitely let me know down below in the comments. That's all we got for today, guys. Keep on smiling. Catch up with you all later. Till then, be good.